Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Elle. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today, exactly as you are. And thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today, exactly as I am. I don't know if I got any usable footage last week, honestly. I was just off kilter. I wasn't feeling super myself. I was, you know, just a conglomerate of things, kind of. I'm feeling a lot better this week. So I've always wanted to have like a little garden, either like a fruit and vegetable garden or like a physical like flower garden. And we have this space in like on my property. My grandma has a flower bed herself and she used to have a vegetable garden but you know as she's aged it's kind of just both of them just kind of fell apart we haven't had a vegetable garden for a few years and at the time she stopped i wasn't into like outdoorsy things like i am now i'm calling this my little like homestead journal <laughs> i started out writing stuff about like canning and a couple canning recipes that i want to try but i also in this little journal started like a 2023 garden and flower bed plan like stuff i want to do for that i feel like it's a form of manifestation to like write things down like i have a manifestation journal but even if it's not in that journal just physically writing things down things i want to do or things that i'm going to make happen things that are happening you're writing it down so you're thinking about it as you're writing it down and i don't know about you but i constantly like go back to my journals and like read what i've written especially if it's like positive things i haven't made too much progress in cersei i'm only on page 308 but this is also the large print edition <laughs> if i don't include any footage from last week the library sent me the large print edition. I didn't request it, but I guess it was the only one that's available. I'm enjoying it so far, but I am taking it slow. I don't think I'm enjoying it as much as Electra. I also kind of want to reorganize my bookshelf because it has no rhyme or reason. It's, I've, whenever I put the books on my shelf, I kind of just throw them all on there the only part that makes sense is the top shelf which has a few of my favorite books i'm sure you all have noticed by now that this clock no longer works so Okay, so I think I've kind of set it up to where I like it. It's a little different. I changed a few things around. We did have one fatality, which was a hand-painted vase that I thrifted. I sat it on the ground so I wouldn't knock it over on my bed, but I wasn't paying attention where I was putting my feet, tipped it over with my feet, and it shattered. So now my little star and moon candle holder it took its spot i switched up the crystals that i have on this shelf but other than that everything else is the same moving down i did bring out my we're not really strangers cards they were sitting on the craft cart that i have over by my desk but i want to be able to like showcase them and show them off and then i put all of the twilight series together on one shelf because i think it looks better instead of having like one book up there, one book on my bookshelf, and then the two others kind of like scattered on my bookshelf. I put them all together. I think it looks really cool, the black and red with the red card game. Nice. 
and then these three books are... I don't really know. Like, these two books I haven't read, and this book I have read, I've really... I just really like the covers on them. This is when the sections finally start to kind of make sense-ish. So I do have my watercolor gouache in a star dish as well as some crystals, a pretty joint case. I, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. I like the design of it. My candles. But then the books are kind of classics. Like, Anna Karenina to speak are classics. I only have one other poetry book besides The Purple Palace, so that's there. Short stories, like poetry and short stories, those three normal people to loose woman. And then this over is kind of fantasy, dystopian type of vibes. This is a Greek mythology retelling, but you know. Moving down to this shelf, historical fiction slash just like historic nonfiction. That's the only nonfiction book. And then the way I used to be over is kind of just YA slash YA romance, new adult romance. This is just kind of like a YA book. Last at the bottom is kind of just... A mishmash of things. So this is my Lenormand deck and like the guidebook, like my first ever deck that I got. Finished journals, finished sketchbooks, a new journal, a not fully full sketchbook and some postcards as well as paper I've made. And then this in the back is kind of just like a little craft basket, I guess. It has all of my tea light candles, a stapler, some of the, the glass vials, some jewelry making things, and then my dried herbs, like rose and lavender and things. can barely see anything because of how bright it is outside but I'm just out at my local conservation area it is the warmest it's been in a path in like a few weeks it's up in the 40s like mid 40s the wind is a bit nippy whenever it blows but it's not like a constant thing and the sun shining down just feels so nice like is indeed frozen over but it's still it just feels so nice to be outside maybe i should have worn my boots for this i kind of didn't really think that like it snowed <laughs> things are melting it's wet well it didn't snow but it did ice like a few days like earlier this week so i have this in front of me and i'm wearing vans I don't really want to get my shoes wet if I can help it.
Hi, I've returned from, let me take off my shoes. From my fun little adventure, I went up to the library and then went on a really nice walk at the nature, my local like conservation area as you saw, or like the closest one to my town. I picked up three books from the library. Well, three that I like requested and they came in. So the first book that I got is My Body by Emily Ratajkowski. Megan Hughes, I believe, has read this book and she talked really highly of it. I don't know too much about Emily Ratajkowski. I know that she's a really famous model. She dated Pete Davidson and now I think she's dating like Eric Andre. I don't know. I don't know why I knew that either. Okay, Stephanie Danler, author of Sweet Bitter. I want to read Sweet Bitter, but I know that the book talks heavily about alcoholism, I want to say, if the trigger warnings on Storygraph were accurate. So I am not going to pick up that book until I feel like I am in a safe mental space to handle the depiction of alcoholism in literature. So. Emily Radzijowski investigates the double bind of sexuality and power with a skillful eye for nuance and a noteworthy fearlessness. These essays don't cut corners. We are all implicated in this web of misogyny and objectification, even Radzijowski herself. For all the ways in which Radzijowski's life is extraordinary and the ways in which these stories will shock readers, my body thrives on moments when her experience as a woman with its triumphs and missteps is resoundingly universal. The next book is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint and I'm so excited to read this because I really like Jennifer Saint's writing. I do. This is about Ariadne and her brother the Minotaur. And last but not least, All's Well by Mona Awad. Ooh, Mona Awad has con concocted her most potent subversive novel yet. All's Well is the story of a woman at her breaking point in a formidable, piercingly funny in indictment of our collective refusal to witness and believe female pain. I wrote my themes for February, inspired by Sophia Kelly, I believe, formerly Wellness with Soph, but like every month she writes like the first day of the month she writes down like what she wants the upcoming month to be like smells things songs food like it's not like all actions it can be like feelings colors sounds smells you know kind of things like the f month's energy that you want to encompass so i wrote down more greens like vegetable greens i definitely do not eat enough veggies so more greens letting myself feel light purple slash lilac Clay creations, unconditional love, composting, muck boots, movement, garden planning. 